Welcome back to another album collection video. On this one, we're going to take a look at my uh, RCA Living Stereo Shahrazad album collection. One of these is a recent purchase, and I'll go over that here momentarily. Actually, a few of these are. In the next video, we'll have another classical album collection video, or you'll just see it when you see it. I mean, so here we have the Analog Productions Super Audio CD, which is still readily available. Uh, this was first released by Analog Productions in, I believe, 2014, maybe earlier, I'm not sure, uh, but this did not come with this, uh, I have to replace this sleeve, so it's going open, but uh, this did not come with this um, plastic sleeve protector, but here's the back again. Uh, all the original album tracks are here, and in stereo, and three-channel multi-stereo, you can just listen to the CD layer, or the, uh, super audio CD layer. Me, I kind of listen to the, uh, to the CD layer of this fantastic album. Go ahead and open it up. But yeah, this is still being made, it's, it's... At a decent price still, this Super Audio CD. Uh, there's the inside, the Shaded Dog label, which is also on the record, which I didn't even know. I mean, here's some more of Analog Productions classical releases. There's also uh, standard CD copies of this uh, from the 90s that uh, Sony put out. I have a few of those. I might buy more. Um, so yeah, I have a few copies of these albums on CD. Will I get them in Super Audio CD? I kind of doubt it, uh, just due to the price, and I don't really have the equipment to take full advantage of it, but it's very cool that they include that with, with this very nice picture of, is that Rimsey Korsakoff, or, or Fritz Reiner, I'm sorry, Fritz Reiner. Um, I think, ah, this booklet's hard to get out, so I think it comes out through the top. I'm not going to show it, I mean, it it's just tough to get out, but what I've noticed with the E, they fixed the cutoff of the E, which is present on the original LP copy. Um, there's the spine, C-A-P-C. 2446SA is Analog Productions catalog number for this release. Love that, uh, excuse me, love that Living Stereo banner on top of the Miracle Surface, uh, which that was the, I guess, their RCA at the time was telling us that uh, their records were quiet, and the, the original is pretty quiet. I think what I have is an original first pressing uh, by RCA. <clears throat> and you have the red seal. Um, strangely enough, well, I'm not talking about that, but yeah, great cover has the woman with the face covering and the big earrings and... Uh, Head covering, I don't know what it, I don't know. But it's a very iconic cover. A lot of people know this. Uh, just fantastic music. I mean, the first track is great. I've listened to this whole thing all the way through one night um, while taking a break from uh, doing something just to kind of wind down. And I must say, yeah, Analog Productions releases are pretty darn good. You can't go wrong with them. But uh, here's what I believe is a an original Shahrazad 1960 copy. I mean, I'll do some research on it, more research. Uh, but in my findings, on my first initial search, I uh, came to find that this is an original. If I find out otherwise, I will put that in the description of this video. I will edit it. But the E is kind of cut off here at the end of the at the end of the cover here which i find interesting that's that's a common thing actually it's not just a one-off thing it's not just my copy that has that error uh 
print quality on the picture is not as good as the um, Super Audio CD or even other newer copies of the uh, re regular Red Book CD. But here you have a paragraph by Richard Maher who produced this record. This is record originally recorded on three-track tape uh, during the live performance. I believe that was done in 1960 or 1959 uh, with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, Fritz Reiner, uh, conducting. Um, so this is made from a two-track uh, recording or copy. So some people say this is a compromise compared to the Analog Productions, Super Audio CD, and their uh, LP copy of this, because that was taken from the original three-track master. I mean, this sounds good enough for me. I mean, it's, I'm not saying it sounds bad, but uh, mine came with the original inner sleeve, which is poly-lined. RCA Victor there on the corner, left corner. Very happy to get this the price that I did, because, uh, you know, this record goes for thousands according to some which that includes uh what chad Cassum, owner of analog production said i mean I've, I've, i haven't seen any copies of this going for that much but i mean why would he lie about it but this copy is in uh, vg plus condition very playable a few tiny pops and ticks but i can live with that uh just very glad to have an original pressing uh is it 180 gram Maybe close to it, maybe 160 gram record. Um, yeah, sounds great. I mean, I love the Shaded Dog label here, which is in fantastic condition. Uh, I can look in the Dead Wax. So it's L2 R Stamper with L2 RY. Uh, zero nine three nine. A two. No, I'm sorry. A two stamper. I was wrong. And what's the front one? Uh, let's see. A three. Hard to see. I think it's a three. So it might be an original pressing. I'll have to look into that further. Um, but yeah, this is one to get if you're into classical. It's a very well known piece. Uh, still readily available. You can get this original copies, reissues from the 60s and uh, maybe 70s. I didn't really look too deep into this. Um, never really did, but and it's not to say this music is bad or anything. It's just I'm kind of lazy when it comes to that. But yeah, get this if you can in any format. There's CD copies out there, Super Audio CD, probably even cassettes, uh, different record copies. Uh, MP3, you know, Super Audio CDs, versions of it, regular CD copies, like I said. But anyways, yeah, that's the collection, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. If you're into classical music, again, this is one to pick up. It's a very well-known uh, uh, recording. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching and subscribing.